HIV and drug use have been interlinked uh, since the inception of the epidemic. And, um, and, and currently, 10% of, okay, of all cases of HIV are driven by injection drug practices, which actually increase the risk of HIV through the contamination of injection and sharing of material use in order to inject. There's also um, behavioral changes that happen when people take drugs that lead them to have much uh, riskier um, behaviors that can result in infection. The most recent UNAIDS report, for example, the, the 2020 report showed really for the first time that the majority of new infections worldwide are in the people we call key populations. People who inject drugs, men who have sex with men, transgender women who have sex with men, sex workers of all genders. Uh, these are prisoners and detainees. These are now uh, the communities, the individuals uh, for whom the HIV response has been insufficient. So uh, therefore the importance of addressing um, drug use and um, in, including injection drug practices as part of uh, the strategies to prevent and um, and take care of HIV globally. And of course, we have seen in our own country the, uh, the, the terrible ravages of the opioid epidemic, which has led in many places to a transition to injection drug use, and again, to outbreaks of hepatitis C and outbreaks of HIV. Uh, in places where, you know, as we saw, for example, in Indiana and in Scott County famously, Needle and syringe exchange was illegal, still illegal. Uh, you know, just extraordinary, a basic provision uh, of, a, of a simple tool to help people reduce their risk of disease acquisition and transmission. One of the major problems that we face um, in the field of substance use disorder, including, of course, of people who inject drugs, is that um, addiction is highly, highly stigmatized. People that trick drugs are highly, highly stigmatized. And this stigmatization actually has two sides to it. The stigma leads to actually reluctance to provide with treatment and help to these individuals via society. The move towards criminalizing and putting them in prison or jail or just neglecting them. So we have a very, very long way to go uh, to, to uh, improve our responses for substance users. And we won't get control of the HIV pandemic if we can't. Thank you.